The ninth step of an engineering project is to retest and redesign um, if necessary. So for example, the, the magnetohydrodynamic, he did six different designs. Even though he met his engineering goal in the first design, he still wanted to make it better and that was fine. Um, one student that I know of made a hovercraft and his, his goal was to be able to stand on the hovercraft so it could hold his weight and that it wouldn't be too tippy. So he tried four different, four or five different types of materials. He used an inner tube, he used a tarp to hold the air, he used um, a flat um, styrofoam board and then he used a piece of um, uh, plywood. And so he used different motors, different ways of blowing the air, and so each of those different ones, you, you, um, he retested and redesigned. So you, you got to picture this step as kind of going back through the loop. I had my goal, do I want to make it a little harder, or do I want to, um, you know, or just try to make it a little better, and then go through the whole process again, develop with new materials, but you still have to make a new material list, and write out the development process and the testing for each one of your designs. After you finish all the designs that you desire to make and all the testing, then you should come up with a conclusion. Choose, speak about which um, design was your favorite, which one worked the best, and what you learned from the whole process.